but we chose to ignore that. <laughs> so you were hoping for a miracle, eh? <laughs> we were hoping for a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys listen to the pap to Papa? Maybe Papa told you, ah, they're going to renew it. <laughs> you know, this Papa of today, they, they will tell you this and tell you that, <laughs> of which it goes against the law of the country. I don't mm. blame them. The South African government, they helped us. I personally, I don't have anything to hold against them. They helped us a lot. <clears throat> I was just mm, thinking to myself from that time that I came here, if I was in my country, what was I going to do with the children? How I, how I was going to, to bring them up with the hardships mm. that we were facing in our country. So I am true. thankful for what they yeah. did to mm. us. Yes. That's true. And I am thankful. Mm. It's time Any now other plan? to to do something yes it's, it's, it's time to do something um, do you have any other plans like because they're going to expire in december my plan my plan is going back home and if mm. there is uh, anything that i have to do i will have to do it back home i'll see what you know where there's a will there's a way there's a way so i will see what i will do yeah well when i get home i will see what i will do mm. so in all these years you have stayed in south africa what do you say were some of the challenges that you faced hey the challenges that we faced it differs with uh, individual according to um how their families are according to their responsibilities um, I had kids I have children that I wanted to educate uh, I managed to to take my first daughter to university and she graduated in 2018 that I am wow. very proud of wow. yes wow. So we faced uh, the challenges that we faced uh, that you, you know when you are living in a foreign land it's not mm. like you are in your country some of the things you 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 limit yourself you restrict yourself you don't go there you don't do this because you are scared mm. of what people will say what they will think but anyway i, I live uh, nicely i wasn't i was a person that who was an outgoing person I wasn't that traveling person who would go this place to that place, that place. So mm -hmm. all these things that sometimes I will hear them, I will hear them, I don't see them. But mm. it's okay. We wow. are surviving. You are surviving. Yeah, that's that's, surviving. that's amazing. At least you know that you you came to South Africa, you managed to send your, your daughter to school. She's a graduate now and your other mm. child is also what you, you said your other child is what the youngest she finished all level she wrote a four all level exams mm. that's amazing mm. eh? <laughs> but yeah. at least you, you have something that you can say okay i went to i sacrificed my family to go to a certain country and this is what i achieved it really i applaud mm. you for that yeah. i really applaud. Yeah. so your children do they also want to come to south africa <laughs> <laughs> no, they are they are encouraging me to come back home. They are saying, "Mommy, you have done your 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 you, you, you have played your 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 part. Come back home. We will see what we can do for you." <laughs> they don't want to come here. They don't want to come here. Nice. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's your your, your, okay. I said, your children are they afraid of what is happening here? They are really afraid. Each and every time they, they, I wake up with a message, "Mommy, are you okay? Please, please come back home." They are, they are waiting for me. <laughs> <laughs> you are the last. They want one. me to come you... back to go back home. Yes. Wow. You are. You and are you know when, 
you know when things are, are showing on TV how they look, so everyone is scared at home. They are like, hey, people are being bent there. Can you please just pack your bags and come back? <laughs> mm, and I, I said, no, I'm fine. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Mm, mm. I really understand. Now, you know, there's also been a, a thing of people crying about crime. You know, people committing. Mm. Have you ever been, mm. what do you call it? Um, there's, a, there's, a, there's a statement that they use, Nkunzi or something like that. Nkunzi, you know, yeah, Nkunzi. Nkunzi. Yeah? Nkunzi. Nkunzi. Eh, hey, Nkunzi. Nkunzi. Yeah. hey, the experience, the worst experience that I had about Nkunzi Ziki, that was 2018 in 25th of June when they killed my husband. Mm -hmm. My husband was, mm -hmm. yes, my husband was killed here where I stay. Oh, um, they robbed him and they killed him. Yeah, they robbed him and oh. they killed him too. That was wow. the worst, worst time of my life in South Africa, 2018 June. Mm. Wow. Were the perpetrators caught? Mm. Were they caught? I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea if they were caught or what. I don't know. But the police were here. They took the uh, statement and all that. But I don't know mm. if they caught. I don't know if I have to follow up or what. I don't know the procedures. Or they have to come to me yeah. to tell me they caught someone or what. Yeah. Because um um because like they were supposed to communicate with you, um that's another problem that I faced uh where I was I was pointed with a gun, I was actually stabbed. Yeah. That happened around like February this year. Mm. So mm. um I opened a case, and then the whole thing just vanished. Uh, that's nice. yeah, that's a problem that we are facing. That's a problem we are facing. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Because now, uh, and the police station, um, the police station is not even far. It's just right mm -hmm. here behind where I stay. It's not very far, but they never came with a feedback that they caught anyone yeah. or what's going on. I don't even know. That's true. That's true. Wow, mm -hmm. this is really serious, eh? Ash, that's it. Uh, that's uh, that's, uh, that's sorry, the I worst so experience. Sorry. Yeah, that yeah, that was the my worst experience in South Africa. I can imagine. I can imagine. Because, because like Zeki, wow. uh, Zeki, like uh, Zeki, on my case, mm. I caught like one person. One person, I caught him. Mm. And that person, he was in prison. But now I don't know whether he's 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 still in prison or he's out. Because my case just ended up in the air. I mean, you know, that's another that's, problem mm. that we are facing in South Africa is the just corruption dying in like South. That. Yes. Mm, the yes. police are so. Imagine for you, Auntie Leslie, you know, you go through something like that and you don't even have the closure to know that the people who did this to your husband were caught or nothing, nothing, like nothing happened, you see? Nothing, mm. nothing. I just pray wow. about it to God to, to, to review. I just, my prayer every time is, God, can you please review these people? And they must come and tell me why they killed him. If they had robbed, mm. well, they robbed him money cell phones and everything but why did they kill him yeah. mm, criminals you mm. know they are heartless they are heartless yeah. just yeah. look at what happened yeah. to yeah. other you know to you know they are just heartless criminals yeah uh but zeki uh like uh i just want to ask you like do you see where the problem of of people like like uh not being on the system becomes a problem because like if like i know that i'm not i'm not like on the south, on the south african system i know that i can get away with anything that i do true it's mm. true so mm -hmm. so like you see like where the and the and the, the problem is i tell you is the people who are who are, uh, who are like in government officials the people who are doing all of these corruptions it's true who are causing it's all true. of these problems yeah uh, because like uh because like we can complain about the foreigners and that that but the problem is the government officials who are not who, uh, who are not like uh, enforcing the law you spoke about china mm. like how they enforce the law they make sure that everybody follows their uh, i mean like their laws there ah, and then here china, it's a different play. story <laughs> 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 Uh, 
At least you know you are safe. You do, they don't yeah. play. They don't play. They don't play. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's Otherwise, true. Your, mm. uh, you hear some stories here. They don't really play. Really, I'm so sorry, Auntie Lesla, about this whole situation. And I'm just hoping that, you know, that closure will come to you. See, these are some of the problems, you know, that happen. And there are some people mm. who are saying uh, if working in South Africa is illegal. Auntie Leslie has got a permit. She said it in the beginning of the video. She, when she came mm. to South Africa, she got a permit. Of, so mm. there are some people we're asking here. Uh, maybe they came later on. They didn't hear that part. No, no, she no. Has no. A permit. Mm. I had, I started with DZP, ZSP, and now ZEP. All those three permits that we, we were uh, issued to Zimbabweans, I got them. Mm. I so got them. It's documented, guys, okay? <laughs> Let's be kind out there, all right? <laughs> anyway, um, so now I think that I think also until I think this explains also why the kids are saying, Mommy, please just come back, you know. Seeing you know that the yeah. you know mom is there, things are happening, and this thing happened to daddy, so they just feel like you are not safe there. I think now it's justified yeah. for the kids to say, Mommy, please mm. come home, you know. Mm. Mm. That's mm. true. Mm. That's true. Wow, wow, yeah, yeah, it's really painful, guys. Anyway, now generally. What advice would you give? Uh, you know, you know, uh, other Zimbabweans. You know, there are Zimbabweans who are undocumented, who are in South yeah, Africa yeah. right now. Okay? It's true. And this is the huge issue. This is like the main issue that is there. Hey. And recently, hey. I heard that uh, they are going to be opening some refugee centers or something. Have you heard mm -hmm. about that? Oh, nope, nope, nope. I didn't. I didn't hear about that. No, part. no, I didn't hear too. Ah. They are going to, I think it's starting in, I forgot the date, I had it here. Starting in May, uh, though all those undocumented or those who have never applied for asylum, they are free mm -hmm. to do so. It's, it's, it, right now they're doing registrations online. They want to document people. Yeah, that's good. I mean, that's good. Like that is, that is like what is needed actually. So that yeah. anyone can be safe. <laughs> yes, true. So yeah. we, are, we are just hoping that people will not ignore that thing also, you know, until that's such a time that it will close before, you know, people apply because people have been given this, this opportunity to register themselves and be documented properly. I think yeah. right now they're doing online and I think they're going to be given uh, these uh, appointment dates, everything like that, but it's all now being done online, the registration. Okay, oh, that's good. That's mm -hmm. good. Anyway, so but also if, i wanted to ask if, you about if, the entitlement if, if, if. okay go ahead oh i was about to say in my advice to the people of zimbabwe even if we were going to be given the the work permits even if they are going to get those asylums but are they still safe to stay here because the people who are warring them, who are banning them, who are doing all this sort of, are not the government people. They are just majority. They are just general yeah. people. Even if wow. you have your permit, they can still torture you. They can still do whatever they want. Are we still are we still safe with our permits, with our, our asylums? Yeah. My advice is to those who can who can manage to go back let's just go back peacefully mm. we were we were helped for so many years we are yeah, thankful Uzi. and we mm. we we, lo we, we, right. we love that but mm. can we just so it, go back home while we are still mm. alive yes mm. <laughs> so you are agreeing that it's time to go home Oh, okay, auntie. It's time okay. to go back home. I know mm. people are saying whatever they want, we, we will go when, whenever we want, but no, it's time up, guys. It's time up. It's time mm. to pick our things and go peacefully. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yeah. It's true. It's true. In a, in, in a, uh, my, I personally, myself, in a few days to come, I will be, I will be going home. I'll be going home in a few days to come. I'm I'm going home. Mm. 
Yeah, mm -hmm. South Africa hasn't been really. It was it was kind to you. You were able to educate your children, everything. But also, I think for you, these are some of the you know the things that we have. Yes. Like, you know, you are forced to leave your home, and then things like this happen. You left your home as a family. Now you're going back alone. Mm -hmm. I know it's really difficult. It's very very difficult. Mm -hmm.